नमस्कार फोर सोल्जर्स इंक्लूडिंग कर्नल मनप्रीत सिंह मेजर आशीष एंड डी एस पी युमायून भट्ट वर किल्ड इन अनंतनाग डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर इन फैक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू रिपोर्ट्स देर वर साउंड ऑफ हैवी फायरिंग एंड ब्लास्ट इन उकरनाग फॉरेस्ट इन अनंतनाग डिस्ट्रिक्ट सिचुएशन इज स्टिल टेंस एंड द वर्स्ट इज वीव लॉस्ट लाइफ वीव लॉस्ट आर सोल्जर्स my condolences to their family and i pray for their souls my topic for today's editorial is equally depressing my topic is about derek o'brien seeking permission from delhi dcp deputy commissioner of police for accommodation of 50000 mandrega workers so it looks like mandrega workers are going to delhi to protest let's talk about it for the last one month in fact more than that i have been continuously talking about mandrega and mandrega wages i have been constantly trying to remind the government that mandrega wages are pending and mandrega wages are important now a lot of people wrote to me as to who says mandrega is effective why should tax payer pay money to people for free i have got lots of uh, uh, comments i don't even want to get into those some, some of those comments but let me answer a few things to you let me first define manrega to my audience the national rural employment act narega was later named as mahatma gandhi rural employment act manrega now manrega is regarded as the indian labor law and social security measures that targets to guarantee people of india the right to work manrega was enacted in september 2005 the manrega act aims to enhance livelihood security in rural areas by providing at least 100 day of wages employment in a financial year to every household whose adult members volunteer to do unskilled manual work this is what manrega is you see let me try and explain this to you further and somehow impress on you why is this so 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 very important a farmer's life is the most uncertain life that and not only in india everywhere in the world a farmer's life is very uncertain in the rest of the world what really happens is the profitability of an average farmer that he he earns in a year is far far higher than what a profitability of a indian farmer is for instance in some countries like brazil and some countries like australia some countries like united states of america a farmer earns profitability up to 135% that's his profitability india it is anything between 22 to 27% so 135% kidhar or 25% kidhar this is the state of farmers in india now one may ask why 135% profits why do you need 135% profits now the answer to that is that you see farmers unlike you and me do not get monthly wages farmers like you and me do not have an annual salary or profitability package they don't because what really happens is it is not necessary that every year the farmer earns profit in fact chances are for two or three consecutive years the farmer may earn losses so what happens when the farmer earns losses when the farmer earns losses for two or three or four consecutive years he can only survive is if he makes very very good profits in the year that he makes profits therefore when you are making 135% 175% 200% profits that far farmer can survive even if there is famine even if there is flood in his region 
in the next con in the next year or consecutive years he can survive for some time and the proof of that is that is why you don't see farmers committing suicide in united states because of flood or famine farmers do not commit suicide in australia farmers doesn't commit suicide even in china farmer doesn't commit suicide in sri lanka but farmer commits suicide in india farmer commits suicide in india that is because we don't allow our farmers to earn enough money we don't allow them to earn enough money this is point number 1 point number 2 is what mandrega does mandrega allows the farmer to get that extra income or possibly most often than not some income a family that is languishing they can get some income at least for 100 days so if there are two or three people in the family of that farmer and who are adult and who are ready to work manual unskilled labor then that family can get 300 days of work 100 days each saal nikal jata hai at least two square meals they get this is why mandrega is important this is why mandrega is important now let me tell you why i am constantly trying to say that the government it's is is their job to pay mandrega to ensure that mandrega is maintained to ensure that these people get work it is no taxpayers money or no free money and all that let's not be under any wrong impression you see a government a government's job is to ensure that people are given a chance to live people are given enough to ensure that they can survive live survive eat for a person to live survive and eat the easiest thing you can do is ensure that they get work i'll rephrase what i'm saying in developed countries if you don't have work the government takes care of you it is called national security the government gives you wages of unemployment if you are if you are disabled developed countries you get disability payment the government gives you because the government says we are rich so we don't we want everybody to have two square meals everybody to have food everybody to have a a livable lifestyle decent big and all i am not saying a livable lifestyle in india we have nothing of that the only thing we have for the poor is something called as manrega where we give them the right to work this right to work ensures they have the right to earn at least for 100 days in 365 days this right to earn at least for 100 days in 365 days ensures that they have food food security they get to eat because that money they cannot buy a car with that money that's not possible they can't even buy basic luxuries they can buy food that's what mandrega does so the only thing we as the as government is doing for our people who are striving to get two square meals is to ensure that we give them some work some manual work unskilled manual work which they can do they can work and they can get that two square meals home especially rural household especially household where farmers who normally are in losses and the only other alternative they have is to commit suicide so we provide them with that now as always let me give you some ground realities ground realities are for instance in west bengal there were protest demanding the center to release 2765 crores of their wages they have been pending for the last 18 months this is what the mandrega workers said around 6.81 crore in number made up 17% of the total rural workforce in the country they say 6.81 crore of people which makes 17% of the total workforce of the country their wages are pending that is the first thing second thing the central government is 
in a sense pushing the workers to destitution ill health starvation by stopping wages for 18 months for no fault of their workers this is what the people were protesting this is what the campaign said this is what the protesters said let me give you some more feedback some institutions that works uh, for mandrega workers uh, some social activists that works for mandrega workers they say that non payment of mandrega wages to workers in west bengal is having an adverse impact on ground especially in, in terms of food security and rural unemployment now these are facts the reason i am trying to tell you all these facts from all these uh, my my research is to bring out what is actually happening on ground we need to arrest this now or this is going to get bigger and bigger and much bigger let me tell you some more facts even if they are having one meal a day says this activist organization even if they are having one meal a day it usually comprises of rice and water the children are dependent on mid day meals to that is provided in schools this is the status of a mandrega worker he or she is our fellow indian this is the status correct it now correct it now or we have an other calamity that we are going to face let me tell you further acha this is not just west bengal derek o'brien west bengal no this is not just west bengal let me take you to patna let me take you to bihar delays in disbursement of mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee scheme that is mandrega scheme wages in bihar muzaffarpur have led to severe financial stress people here say that some being forced to borrow money from private lenders at high interest rates some workers say that they haven't been paid for as many as 5 months making it difficult to afford two square meals patna I spoke to you about West Bengal. Now I am speaking to you about Patna. Let me tell you further. While the government official in district admitted that rural development uh, department in Patna has not received funds from the center from for some time, leading to delays in the disbursement of the wages under the rural job guarantee schemes, he said that the center has released funds and wages of ninety three percent of the district workers have been released. This is what the government in one end is saying. अभी तक तो नहीं दिया था अभी दिया तो वी हैव रिलीज 93 परसेंट बट एनजीओ इन मुजफ्फरपुर से नो नो 25,000 वर्कर्स इन सेवरल ब्लॉक्स ऑफ डिस्ट्रिक्ट इंक्लूडिंग घाईघाट बकोका एंड कुरहानी हैज नॉट येट बीन पेड 25,000 पीपल यू सी व्हाट गेट्स मी रियली वरिड and disturbed is you know the response to this is that the people of the state know how tmc leaders and workers misuse central fund this is what bjp head in uh, west bengal says people of the state knows how tmc workers and uh, leaders misuse the government funds they even change names of the center schemes and passes them as their own under such circumstances the center stopped the funds to put an end to corruption what is wrong with them are they playing politics with people's money with people's wages with people's lifeline they are changing names of the schemes so i am going to stop the money the tmc people are corrupt so i am going to stop the money to to teach a lesson to the tmc leaders and uh, workers you are going to stop the money of that peasant who will not eat tomorrow because he has not received his salary what kind of politicians are you what kind of politics is this we have done all the world's event all the world's glitz and glamour all dinners and events and parties and 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 shows and advertising and campaign and all that all this is worth nothing all this is worth nothing if our brothers and sisters who cannot afford two square meals die out of hunger it is worth nothing and that's the point i wanted to make today i wish the workers get their wages i wish they get food to eat that's all i pray to god and i pray to this government till i see you next time namaskar